Sadly, time to leave. Welcome back to our Tassie road trip. In this episode, we're heading for the West Coast Wilderness. We'll show you the rivers, the rainforest, and the rain. I need a windscreen wiper on the lens. Come to Tasmania, they said. Enjoy the weather. And we'll tell you <laughs> what we think. Yeah, we spent 10 days here. Yeah. So join us. Now we're jumping in the car and driving to Strathgordon, which is actually on the other side of the state. So we've got a bit of driving ahead of us. The town of Strathgordon is only 150 kilometres away as the crow flies, but in western Tasmania, the windy mountain roads add another curvy 110 k's to our trip. So we soon turn into the Gordon River Road, known as one of Australia's great drives along an 80 kilometre dead end road in the Tasmanian wilderness. And there's always something to marvel at. Yes. Oh, sorry, I just got distracted <laughs> by that. Soon reach our stop for tonight, Pedder Wilderness Lodge. There we go. It's pretty self-explanatory, really. It's all one room and bathroom, but it's all you need. But the view outside was nice. Hmm. Like Pedder. Let's go check out the bar. Thank you. Petter Wilderness Lodge is the only accommodation in Strathgordon and offers a variety of comfortable rooms and guest facilities. <laughs> it's also the only place to eat in town and has an excellent restaurant attached. It's a wall of Tasmanian whiskey. Did you say steak? No, I said parmigiana. Steak. My complaints. This log of hue and pine was salvaged in 1975. 2,200 years old at the time of salvage and is 8 metres around. This is Lake Peda Wilderness Lodge where we spent last night. It's the old accommodation for the workers who were here. What were they working on you might ask? We'll go and have a look next. In Western Tasmania, it rains an average of 237 days of the year, with Strathgordon being no exception. This morning's mission takes us down the final 12 k's of the Gordon River Road to its end in the wilderness. And this is what they were building. Oh, wow. Holy shit! This is the Gordon River Dam, which created Lake Gordon, the largest lake in Australia. Completed in 1974, the Gordon Dam is a spectacular engineering feat. The dam is 192 metres long and 140 metres high, making it higher than the Sydney Harbour Bridge, and in fact holding back more water than the entire Sydney Harbour. It's crazy to think that this was all designed in the 60s yeah. on pen and paper. Yeah. <laughs> it's a miserable day to be looking at dams. Damn weather. It's always damn weather. Wow. I need a windscreen wiper on the lens because as soon as I wipe it, it's wet again. So let's quickly have a look. The three underground hydroelectric turbines generate 450 megawatts of clean energy. Oh, what do you think? <laughs> I think it's wet. So Strathgordon, where we stayed, was built to house all the workers. There used to be over 500 houses. Now there's about 10. Back of this rainy weather, we're heading across to the west coast to the town of Strawn. Come to Tasmania, they said. Beautiful weather. Oh, they didn't say that. <laughs> 
reach Strawn, we have to head back along the Gordon River Road before heading north through the finer weather of central Tasmania on our five hour, 340 kilometre drive. It's not that long though before we're back in the wet and the rain of the west coast. Please turn right after 150 meters you have reached your destination. The destination is on the left side of the road. Thank you. Mm. Good morning, travellers. Good morning. I can't see under my hood. <laughs> <laughs> this morning we're going on a cruise up the Gordon River. Today we're at the Oceanside in Strahan. Spelled S-T-R-A-H-A-N. Strahan. <laughs> Uh, it's a bit wet, but hopefully it'll clear at some point. There's our boat. We're on the top deck. Hmm. A little wet. Mm. It's all the moody old morning. Upstairs, so just take a left at the top of these stairs in here. Thank, Thank you. you. Good morning. 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 I'm here to help you navigate your journey through this rugged wilderness and through history itself. The first stop on our cruise takes us to the mouth of the Macquarie Harbour, the notorious entrance known as Hell's Gate. This very narrow and difficult to navigate entrance claimed many ships and lives who tried to pass during the notorious West Coast storms. I heard my wife, Jack, she cried, save me. I could not leave my post. They were swept out beyond the breakwater. Our next stop is Sarah Island, the oldest known convict settlement in the colonies. All right, all of you men and women, settle down, settle down. You will soon disembark at Sierra Island. You will serve out your miserable time on the most remote and toughest penal settlement in the colony. Such a nice name, Sierra Island. You'd think it'd be lovely. Obviously, they were mistaken. Sarah Island. This place was a penal colony. That was from 1822 to 1833 when it was a banishment settlement for secondary offenders. Now this was the first of those banishment settlements and by reputation it was the harshest, the cruelest and the bloodiest. In fact, tales of cannibalism arise from here. Our guide this morning takes us on a tour of the excavations and remaining ruins of Sarah Island. She brings the past to life with funny and poignant tales of convicts, workers and guards alike, drawing a picture of those that suffered in their lives and learning all there was of man's inhumanity to man. But thank you so much, Ship's Horns Guard. Thank you. Thank you. That yeah, was good. Very mm. interesting place. Mm. And I'd never heard of it before. Never. No, you've only heard of Port Arthur. Yeah. <laughs> but this was the precursor to Port Arthur. Yeah. Welcome to the spirit of the wild. Spirit of the wild. Our final stop is to the magnificent and majestic Gordon River. It's a murky, misty day. Adds to the atmosphere. Mm, it does, doesn't it? This river wasn't always so peaceful. In 1978, the Tasmanian government announced plans to build hydroelectric dams on the Franklin and Gordon rivers. The Franklin River became synonymous with Australia's largest conservation movement battle to block Tasmania's proposed hydroelectric power plan from building on the Franklin. So let the Franklin fall, let the wildlands be, the wilderness should be strong and 
newly elected federal government intervened and following a successful High Court challenge between the federal and state governments, the project was abandoned in 1983, preserving the Franklin and the Gordon Rivers for the world. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Captain Rick has engaged the spirit of a wild, environmentally friendly electric engine that delivers Gordon River Cruises signature silent cruising experience on the river. I once was lost, but now am found, was blind, but now. I see. Our excursion stop at Heritage Landing allows us to explore up close the beauty of the wild Tasmanian wilderness rainforest. Now, another hue and pine we do have is this one behind you all lining the boardwalk. It was actually 2,300 years old when it fell over about 30 years ago in a storm. It's just like Mate's Rest. Um, have you been to Mate's Rest? Yes, I have. There's a really good video I can recommend. <laughs> I'll leave a link up above. When the boat's in the river, it runs on electric power, so it doesn't leave a wake. The water's an impressive colour. It comes from the tannins. But they say it's still OK to drink. This is a beautiful place. <laughs> Thanks, Kate. No worries. <laughs> That was a good way to spend the day. Beautiful day. Even in the rain. Yeah, I think it adds to the atmosphere, doesn't it? Mm. No, it was good. Very good. Highly recommended. Well, that's why you come here anyway. Exactly. Time to leave the pretty little town of Strawn behind. We're heading north to Stanley, our last night in Tasmania. You all set? Yeah, I'm ready. Uh, Stanley. Stanley, yes. Stanley! After Strawn, Strawn to Stanley. The picturesque town of Stanley is located three hours north of Strawn via the Murchison Highway. The town is well known for its unique landform known as the Nut. And it's not long before we can see it appear in the distance. Turn right onto Stanley Highway, B21. Continue on B21 for 7 kilometres. The enormous Nut is a 25 to 70 million year old volcanic plug that looms 143 metres high above the town. Your destination is on the left. This is where we're staying tonight in Stanley, the Ship Inn. It's brilliant. Come inside and have a look. Welcome to Green Hills. <laughs> so you've got your lovely sitting area, kitchenette, and they've got us breakfast. Fridge is fully stocked as well. Some little condiments. 
Put your microwave if you need it, coffee maker if you need it. I love the styling on the bed and the cushions are gorgeous. And we got complimentary socks. With so their cool. own personalised seal from the ship in. Dear Michael, get cosy and enjoy. I was just wearing it at the bathroom too. It's got like spa quality toiletries in here. So you've got your country charm with all the modern amenities. Mm -hmm. So you'll have to do a tour of the, the guest lounge. The guest lounge. The guest lounge is located next door in the original billiard room and cold storage for the old hotel. It's now a plush and relaxing environment for guests that's full of quirky old world charm. What are the cards in the corner? Some personal photos. Yeah, I wonder, is that the same couple? Could be. Pearl and Dodger. Cabaret room at Bayview Hotel Ship Inn before marriage. Oh my goodness, that photo was taken here. Sadly, time to leave. Goodbye, Stanley. Goodbye, Ship Inn. Such a nice place. Even nicer when it's not raining, I'm sure. See the sacrifices we go through to bring you amazing footage. The drive to Devonport down the Bass Highway is only an hour and 35 minutes from Stanley. Leaving plenty of time for us to make our 5 p.m. check-in time for the ferry departing at 6.45. As in Melbourne, the security, quarantine and boarding process is very quick, organised and well directed. Oh, got it. Thank you. Here we are again. This is Spirit of Tasmania 2, which is a little bit nicer than Spirit of Tasmania 1. Good evening, travellers. Hey there. We're back on that boat. So tomorrow morning, 6 a.m., back in Melbourne. Yeah, we spent 10 days here. Yeah, and we could have easily spent 20 days here. If not longer. <laughs> Beautiful place. So much to see, so much to do. Yeah, it's a well-kept secret. But we're here to tell you, come to Tasmania. Well, From the moment we left Devonport, I was just completely blown away about how beautiful this place is. Yeah, I think we just got like a little teaser. Well, where would you have liked to have spent more time? Uh, Cradle Mountain, Stanley, where we stayed was just brilliant. So I really oh, love that. We just came from there. The accommodation was wonderful. It looks like there's lots of lovely places to stay there. And Hobart, I know there's a lot of history and we didn't really touch on that. So. I wish we could have had more time at Strathcourt. Mm. There are still uh, beaches and walking trails. And so we'll definitely be back. This week, we just did the West Coast. There was one other thing I wanted to mention. The river cruise on the Mitz Trawn was such beautiful. Yeah, I got to learn a lot about convict history, yeah. nature. The Gordon River, the Franklin Dam. So that's it for Tasmania. If you want to see more, please subscribe. Bye. Bye. Come to Stanley, see the nut, do the nut bush. Hello young lady, can I offer you a ride? <laughs> Please. <laughs> Probably got a lot of shots of me doing this. <laughs> Is that a cheeky blueberry? <laughs> we just happened to stop here for lunch, turned off the highway seven kilometres to Waratah. Never heard of Waratah, but apparently Australia's first electric street lights. I don't think a lot's happened since then. <laughs>